Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany, this is Baby Groot, um, and we make, including my husband, videos all about Disney, travel, lifestyle, puppy, everything like that. So if you like any of that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video that we upload. So if you have been following our channel, then you know that we recently just got back from a Disney Groot, you're blocking the shot, <laughs> a Disney cruise. I, I am rocking my Castaway Key merch right now. Um, it was an amazing week in the Bahamas with my parents and some family friends of ours and it was just such a fun time. We had a blast. We did a lot of relaxing, a lot of hanging out by the pool, um, a lot of adventures and walking around as well. So if you haven't seen those, I will link the vlog videos up there so you can go check out all the vlogs from all of our fun days in Key West, Castaway Key, Nassau, Marvel Day at Sea, everything like that. It was so much fun. So today's video is going to be all about why I think adults should take adult only Disney cruises. If obviously if you can't tell, Groot is our only baby and he cannot go on a Disney cruise. Sorry, Bubba. <laughs> um, so we have no children and this was our second Disney cruise as adults. We went on the exact same Disney cruise for our honeymoon, which was phenomenal. I wish we had the vlog channel back then because I wish that I had footage from that trip. It was the most amazing trip of my entire life. But um, this was our second cruise and this was mostly adults only. We, Our family friends have a 14 year old daughter um, who went with us, but we also spent a lot of time in the adults only areas with my parents. So we still had a lot of just adults only fun. I really think that Disney cruises get overlooked as a cruise option for a lot of adult couples or um, fam, you know friend vacations or whatever, because it is Disney. So I am here to tell you all why I think a Disney cruise is the best adults only vacation. Let's jump right on into it. So reason number one why I think Disney cruises are the best adult only vacations is the adults only areas are basically empty. So before you ask, yes, there are adults only areas on Disney cruises. Um, if you are traveling with children, there are kids clubs that the kids can go to. So you can still take your kids and still have adults only fun. Um, but there are adults only areas. There is a adults only pool area that has a bar and a coffee bar that is super quiet. Honestly, I think the pool is bigger than the family pool. It's like basically empty. There's two jacuzzis and tons of lounge chairs for you to hang out, have drinks, chill out. And we definitely took part in that. It was so much fun. Um, the pool is set up really nicely. So there's like a nice, like very, very shallow layer that you can just sit in and it kind of just lays on your legs to keep you cool. And there's a little like actual, it flows into a little actual like pool that you can swim and stand in and stuff. Um, so it's really nice. We just hung out there, sat on the side, put our feet in or sat in the water, had a couple of drinks by the pools, which were great. Also, I will touch on the fact that Drinks on a Disney cruise are not outrageously priced. I think most of our drinks were like six, seven dollars, alcoholic drinks. And if you trying to go up my shirt, what are you doing? <laughs> um, and I feel like that is such a reasonable price for a mixed cocktail, honestly. I feel like it'd be the same price if I were on a carnival cruise or out at dinner or whatever, maybe even more. Um, and the drinks were so good. <laughs> um, so we would just hang out by the pool, have drinks, um, talk. It was a lot quieter there. It was really empty. That was my first point. It was, most of the adults areas are pretty empty because a lot of the people on Disney cruises are families. And so they spend a lot of time doing the family activities. Um, there are some adults, you know, who their kids go to the kids areas and they're able to go there a couple times during their trip and hang out, but it's not crowded with people like it would be on a carnival cruise or something like that because most people are with their kids. And if you're, the only if you're only traveling with adults then you can hang out in the adults areas the whole time the other thing about disney cruises is after 9 p.m there is an adults only area um on our cruise we were on the magic um and our cruise consisted of three bar areas there was um ogil's pub which was like a pub area um there was keys which is a piano bar and there was fathoms which is kind of the like nightclub vibe um and in fathoms we did not take part in the adults only area on this trip but on our honeymoon we spent every single night in fathoms and they have adults only entertainment so the the variety acts that are on board um musicians what else we have comedians you know whoever is performing on the ship um we'll do an adults only show in there um they have adults only game shows like match your mate um which was super fun to watch um, just a bunch of adults only like games and entertainment down there um, after 9 p.m. and it goes all the way to like 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, it was great um, and like I said we didn't take part this trip but we did on our honeymoon and it was just a lot of fun. You meet a lot of people on the ship, 
you get a laugh, you have fun. Um, and there's, again, not a lot of people down there. Um, you know, as the cruise went on, there became more couples. And, you know, some nights um, when the entertainment was quote unquote better, like Match Your Mate, I think was pretty cool. But um, for the most part, there's not a ton of people down there. And then the same people every night. So you kind of make friends throughout your trip. It's a lot of fun. Um, the second reason I think Disney cruises are the best adult only vacation is you get to be a kid again as well. There is so much on top of the adult activities. There's family activities, there's kids fun activities, like the deck parties are super fun, and there's characters walking around. I understand this is not everybody's cup of tea, but if you are a Disney fan or a kid at heart like Jason and I are, you will love it. We have so much fun getting to relive the kid in us, um, getting to see all the Disney characters, getting to meet them, take pictures, so much fun. The kids' family entertainment is amazing as well. There's things like who, who can be a Masketeer, I think is what it's called. Um, it's like a quiz Disney game show, bunch of Disney trivia. We had a Marvel day at Seas, there was a Marvel trivia. Just so much fun things you can do as adults, but they're family activities and they're just kids at heart games. They're so much fun. Plus you have deck parties, which I don't remember, I've been on a carnival cruise once um, and I don't remember being deck parties, especially not the way Disney does it. Disney does the best entertainment in the business. Deck parties are so much fun. We were lucky enough to have three deck parties on our trip. We had the sell a wave party, which is, there's different variations on each cruise and each um, like destination you're going to, but it's basically a party on the top um, as you leave port. Um, Mickey and your friends come out, everything like that. It's super fun, dancing, the whole shebang. Um, so we had Sell a Wave, we had Marble Dance Seas, so we got the Marble Deck Party, which is my favorite deck party of all time. We did not get that on our honeymoon, and it was phenomenal. It was almost like a Broadway style production on the top deck. It was amazing. I cannot say enough good things. If you can go on a Marvel cruise, or I'm sure Star Wars probably has an amazing deck party as well, do it because the deck party is so worth it. We had a Marvel deck party, which was incredible. We also had a pirate night because we were in the Bahamas and the pirate night is always so much fun. Everyone is dressed in their pirate gear. It's a great time. Uh, the pirate party is so much fun. Dancing, fireworks at sea, which Disney is the only cruise line to do. Disney is the only cruise line to do fireworks at sea. It's good. You're literally in the middle of the ocean and there's fireworks coming off the ship. It's, I don't know how they do it. It's magic. Mickey Mouse, all the things. <laughs> Anyways, all the deck parties are incredible and you don't get those on other cruise ships. I love being able to be a kid at heart. It is so much fun. Also, one adult only area I forgot to touch on, which is not on every Disney cruise, but if you are going to the Bahamas, you do make a stop at Disney's private island called Castaway Key. I can make an entire video about Castaway Key. It is the best port I have ever been to. I, ugh, it is paradise. It is paradise, guys. If you can book a trip where you can go to Castaway Key, do it. Um, we are thinking about doing a trip where you have two sea days and then two days at Castaway Key because all I want to do is just hang out at Castaway Key. It is phenomenal. So much fun. So Castaway Key is Disney's private island. You get to spend a whole day there if it's one of your ports of call. And on Castaway Key, you have an entire adults only beach. And the adults only beach is beautiful. There are hammocks, chairs, lounge chairs, everything like that. The water is very shallow, very far out. So you can go sit in the middle of the ocean. Oh, it was amazing. It is so pretty. And it, again, it's empty. There are no kids. So it's super quiet. And it's just such a beautiful place. The other thing that they have there is um, on Disney's private island, it, the food is included in the price of your cruise. And there are two family locations to eat, cookies and cookies too. And there's a third adults only location on the adults only beach. And we prefer to eat there. We've eaten there both times we've been at Castaway Key. Um, just because it's empty, the food, I think the food is almost the exact same as cookies. You might be able to get a steak there that you can't get at cookies, but the food is good. There's no line like there is over at cookies. So if you are traveling as an adult only group, um, you can definitely head over there for lunch, even if you're hanging out on the family beach and skip the lines, have a quiet lunch, um, not wait, be able to get a table, just have a much more relaxed feel than hanging out with all the kids at the family locations. Um, so you recommend that. The third thing that's amazing about, it's called Serenity Bay, is the adults only beach by the way. So if I refer to Serenity Bay, it is the adults only beach. The third amazing thing about Serenity Bay is the massage locations. You can get a couple's massage or a single's massage over there. And Jason and I have done that both of our trips now. And it is one of our favorite parts of the trip. If you saw our day three, well, our, not our day three, but our third travel vlog, you would have seen that everybody, Jason, my parents, me, our favorite part was the massage. It is 
so amazing, so relaxing. And if you're an adult, all you want to do on vacation is relax. And that'll do it for you. So definitely look into a couple's massage. You can get a couple's massage on board as well, which I have not taken part in, but I just love getting a massage in the cabana. The windows are open, the doors are open. You can see, smell, hear the ocean, the wind. Oh, it is just, it's so peaceful and it is so beautiful. And I cannot recommend it enough to everybody out there. So that is the other amazing thing. There are tons of other adults only things you can take part in. There's alcohol tasting, a bunch of different things on board. I think there was mojitos, um, mixed cocktails, wine, all of that fun stuff. Um, as well as, like I said, the spa on board, which has a ton of offerings in there, massages, foot massages, um, facials, teeth whitening. You can basically get everything done there. I think there's a sauna. Definitely look into that if you are trying to relax on your whole entire vacation. Um, the last thing I want to touch on that is exclusive to adults on a Disney cruise is Palo and Remy. Um, Palo and Remy are 18 and older dining locations. Um, they're not on every, well, both of them are not on every ship. We were on the Magic, like I said, and the Magic only has Palo. Um, the bigger ships like the Fantasy have Palo and Remy on board. Um, and I've not tried Remy. I would love to travel on a bigger ship and give it a try. But we did Palo for our honeymoon and it was phenomenal. It is an extra charge. I think it is $30 a person, but don't quote me on that. Um, in your party, like I said, it is 18 and older. Um, and it is such an incredible dining experience. So $30 is nothing for the food that you get. The caliber is incredible. It is just like the rest of your dining rotation. You can order appetizer, entree, dessert, everything like that with no extra charge on top of your $30 a person. Um, it is just incredible. Um, there's wine, cocktails, everything like that in there. Um, we were not 21 at the time, but I would love to have a glass of wine in there. We had wine at our dining rotation this trip and it was so good. So I'm excited to go back to Palo at some point and try their alcohol and wine pairings as well. Um, but it is such a higher caliber restaurant. It is adults only, so it is quiet, it is peaceful, um, it's fancy. There is a dress code, so make sure you look that up before you go. I think Remy's dress code is a little bit stricter than Palo's, um, but just bring, you know, nice nice outfits and um it is it's fun it's um especially if you're celebrating an anniversary for our honeymoon it was perfect we got to dress up go up there we felt really fancy um really like spoiled it was so nice um i think so we got offered a dessert by our waiter when we were there and i think it was a souffle and he told us before we ordered anything before we even ordered drinks he was like the souffle is the star dessert but if you want it you have to order it before your meal because it takes 45 minutes to cook and we, of course, we took part in that. We were such foodies, of course we did. So we ordered a souffle and it was, oh my goodness, the best thing I have ever had in my life. It was worth the 45 minutes. Ugh, I cannot say enough things. So obviously that was a couple years ago. So I'm assuming they're still doing something pretty special like that. If they are, make sure, I'm sure your waiter will bring it up. But you can always ask. It was spectacular. It was, oh my goodness, I cannot say enough good things. I'm speechless. Can you see? I never speak to, I'm speechless. It was so good. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you are 18 and older or traveling, or maybe you have kids, but you're like, kids, you're going to eat in the kids club tonight. We are going to Palo. Um, I definitely recommend checking that out because it was an incredible experience and celebrating something. You deserve that. Adults, you deserve that. You know, kids have all the fun, but adults, you work hard for your money. You worked hard for that vacation. Go spoil yourself. Have so much fun. Um, yeah. Is there anything else that I think makes Disney great for adults? kids at heart you know it's just fun not to mention on top of all the adults only things on top of being able to be a kid at heart and enjoying all those things as well Disney just does everything better that you have the best service you have the best entertainment you have Broadway style shows every single night of your cruise as well as a the theater that plays first run Disney movies we just got back from our cruise and we watched Frozen 2 and Rise of Skywalker in the Disney theater as well as saw all of the Broadway shows and they were spectacular um so incredible to see so I definitely recommend doing that. I definitely recommend looking into it. There's a variety of options when it comes to Disney Cruises, variety of days, destinations, ships, entertainment, everything. Like I said, um, Bahamas, you will get a pirate day at sea or well, a pirate night, sorry, excuse me, a pirate night. And there are select cruises that you can do. Marvel day at sea, Star Wars day at sea. If you travel during Halloween time, you get spooky nights. Um, if you travel during Christmas, you have a merry time cruise. So there are tons of options. Um, if you don't know, I am a travel agent. So if you have any questions, concerns, interests, you want to know 
any more information or options, definitely shoot me a message. I would love to help you guys out to find out all the information about Disney Cruises. I think they are spectacular and one of the best vacations you can take, the best bang for your buck. And like I said, this whole video, they're perfect for adults only. Don't let the fact that it's a Disney cruise and made for kids deter you from taking a Disney cruise as an adult couple or adult single, whatever the case may be. Definitely look into it. It is such a fabulous vacation for families, adults, couples, everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it made you want to go and book a Disney cruise because they are incredible vacations and I promise that they will not disappoint you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more Disney fun and we will see you in our next video. Bye friends!